you doing? I'm great, Jay. How are you? See you, my Good friend. To see you. Good, Good to, to see, see you. you. Too. Thank you. Thank Pleasure. you. Pleasure. You're probably wondering why you're here. Well, yeah. I mean, thanks for inviting me, but uh, why exactly? Well, you're driving an Aston Martin English car, and yep. you've had Rolls Royces mm. English car. Still have the English accent. I guess that helps with women. I don't know what. It is. <laughs> you're an American now. Yes. Okay. Th almost 30 years. You've now. been here 30 years. I just thought I should introduce you to perhaps something that's more of an American tradition. Like what? Let me show you. Look at that. Ooh. See, very American, very brash, very loud. Beautiful. This is Dave Persick from Ford. Hi, Dave, how are see you? How are you nice doing? To, pleasure to meet you. I'm doing Jay, how are you doing? Good to see you. Good to That's see you. That's a fantastic again. car. This is the Shelby Mustang, the GT500. Remember how the Beatles really broke out in England in the 60s? This was our Beatles. And wow. It's just become an American tradition. And I just thought I would get you out of the foreign job, as my dad called it, and put you That's into something, take some put you something American. How many horsepower do you think this has? Take a guess. The sounds of that engine is going to be pretty large. 760. Wow. What's that zero to 60? Less than three and a half seconds. Can I go take a look? Of course. Go take a look. Wow. Ooh, look at that love, the interior. Can I sit inside go it? Go right ahead. That's beautiful. Wow. Well, see, the cool thing is this car has not been officially released to the public yet. And I wanted to get someone who was not familiar with it to get an unbiased opinion. You will be the first person outside of Ford and their employees and the people who built this car to drive it. What, before you, Jay? Before me. I have okay. not driven it yet. Well, that's an opportunity. So I, I wanted to bring in a <laughs> proper Englishman and see what you think. I'd love to. Well, we've only got two seats, Dave, so I'm sorry. You'll have Goodbye to for now. get back to Detroit somehow. But listen, uh, we'll take good care of it. He'll be fine. You're sure? Dave, okay. I'll see All you right. later. Thanks, yeah, thanks, Dave. Yeah, thanks. Ready to give it a shot? Absolutely. All right, let's do it. It's got some power. Oh, yeah. See, Love power the corrupts absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> but it drives very nicely. It does. It's surprisingly smooth. Put your foot on it. Let's see what it'll do. Really impressive. Yeah. It's got a great sound. It's a proper car. It is a proper car. So what was your very first car? My very first car, and I can, I can answer that question with certainty. Yeah. My very first car, I was 28 at the time, and it was a second-hand Porsche Targa. Oh, very nice. And I loved that thing. Oh, but no beater cars when you were in high school no, or any no, of that No, I, I couldn't even afford a beater right, car. Right. I got my first success at the age of 27. And so the car I was able to buy was a pretty decent car. Yeah. And I guess, you know, that was uh, my first taste of the American dream. Now, what's the most foolish car purchase you've ever made? A Rolls-Royce Wraith. Rolls-Royce Wraith? <laughs> yeah, beautiful car, but right. it was like driving a boat every time I took yeah, it out. Yeah. Massive thing, completely senseless purchase. But you have to do that. That's you got part to do. of being a rock star. Yeah. Exactly. What is it Mark Boland said? I drive a Rolls Royce because it's good for my voice. Well, even though we call this the all-American car, the Mustang, the original 350 was designed by a Korean gentleman. John Chun was his name. He escaped from North Korea, went to South Korea, came to America, went to Art Center College to be a designer. And this is one of the fruits of his labor, or a descendant of it, you could say. The American dream. You finally drive an American car. You eat hamburgers, don't you? Yeah, I eat hamburgers. I eat hamburgers. Let's do it. All right. I think we'll make an American eat it. Yeah. <laughs> Hey CNBC fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Here you'll find videos from all your favorite CNBC shows. Be sure to subscribe by clicking right here. Click on the videos around me and watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.